Once long ago in a land far away, there lived four little characters who ran through a maze looking for cheese to nourish them and make them happy. Two were mice named Sniff and Scurry. And two were little people named Ham and Haw. As different as the mice and little people were, they shared one thing in common. Every morning, they left their homes and raced out into the maze to find their favorite cheese. Snip and Scurry had simple brains but good instincts. They used a simple method of trial and error. Sniff would smell out the general direction of the cheese. And Scurry would race ahead. They often went off in the wrong direction and bumped into walls. But Ham and Haw had complex brains with beliefs and emotions that made their life in the maze more complicated and challenging. Finding cheese was important to the little people. It was a way of getting what they thought they needed to be happy. For some, it was having material things. For others, it was health or peace of mind. For Haw, cheese meant living in a cozy cottage with a loving family on Cheddar Lane. To him, cheese meant being a big cheese in a mansion atop Camembert Hill. Eventually, they all discovered their own kind of cheese in Cheese Station C. Every morning after that, Sniff and Scurry woke early each day and ran the same route through the maze to Cheese Station C. Sniff and Scurry hung their running shoes around their necks in case they needed to get to them quickly. But Ham and Haw awoke each day a little later and sauntered over to Cheese Station C. After all, they knew where the cheese was and how to get there, and they assumed it would always be there. Ham and Haw put their running shoes away. They thought they wouldn't be needing them again. This is great! There's enough cheese here to last us forever! Sure is! They felt secure. They even decorated the walls with sayings. Ham and Haw became so comfortable they didn't notice what had been happening. Meanwhile, Sniff and Scurry inspected the area each morning to see if there had been any changes from the day before. One morning, they arrived at Cheese Station C and discovered there was no cheese. They weren't surprised, since they'd noticed the supply of cheese had been getting smaller. The mice did not overanalyze things. The situation had changed, so Sniff and Scurry changed. They were soon off in search of new cheese. Later that day, Ham and Haw arrived at Cheese Station C. They had not been paying attention to the changes that had been taking place. No, no cheese? Who moved my cheese? It's not fair! Hem, Hem, I know we're smarter than mice, but we're not acting like it at the moment. What'll happen if the cheese isn't here tomorrow? I've made plans based on this cheese! While Sniff and Scurry had moved on, Hem and Haw continued to Hem and Haw. One night, Haw wrote on the wall, The more important cheese is to you, the more you want to hold on to it. The next day, Ham and Haw still somehow expected to find their cheese in the same place. Why did they do this to me? Now, where are Sniff and Scurry? Do you think they know something we don't? Nah, they're just simple mice. We're little people. We're entitled to our cheese. Yeah, yeah, but maybe we should just simply get going and find some new cheese. Oh, no. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want things to be the way they were. Meanwhile, Sniff and Scurry moved further into the maze. They didn't think of anything else but finding new cheese. After much trial and error, Sniff and Scurry found the biggest store of cheese they had ever seen at Cheese Station N. Meanwhile, Hem and Haw were still hemming and hawing at empty Cheese Station C. Then, Hall began to imagine himself out in the maze, finding fresh new cheese. Before long, he could almost taste it. Come on, Hem. Let's, let's go. No, I like it here. It's comfortable. Besides, it's real dangerous out there. Haw imagined the worst. His hope of finding new cheese faded. So every day, Hem and Haw went from their homes to Cheeseless Station C and returned home again with empty bellies, full of nothing but stress. 
Who moved my cheats? Who moved my cheats? Who moved my Ham. cheats? Who Ham, look at us. We keep doing the same things over and over and wonder why things don't get better. It's time to move on. Well, you're not really going out into the maze again. Why don't we wait here until they put the cheese back? You just don't get it. They're never going to put the old cheese back. That was yesterday's cheese. It's time to find new cheat. Oh, but what if there's no cheese out there? Or what if you can't find it? Ham, life moves on, and so should we. No. Who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? Who moved my if cheese? If we Who don't change, cheese? we could become extinct. Like him, a part of Ha was afraid. <clears throat> Then Ha wrote on the wall what he had been thinking about. What would you do if you weren't afraid? It wasn't long before Ha knew what to do. Ha gathered all his courage and jogged into the unknown. It's maze time! At first he felt lost. But it wasn't long before he began to find his way. Being back in the maze isn't nearly as bad as I feared. How did I get into this situation? I'd been watching what was happening. Pa stopped to write on the maze wall what he was learning. Smell the cheese often so you know when it's getting old. Pa hoped that these handwritings on the wall would not only be reminders to himself, but also a marked trail for him to follow if he chose to enter the maze. Why do I feel so good? I don't have any cheese, and I don't know where it is. Aha! When you move beyond your fear, you feel free. The more clearly Ha imagined himself finding new cheese, the more real it became. Imagining myself enjoying new cheese even before I find it leads me to it. Finally, Ha arrived at a large cheese station. But it was practically empty. I'm too late. If I'd moved on sooner, I might have found a lot of new cheese here. Ha did find several delicious morsels of new cheese. It wasn't much, but enough to keep him going. I've got to get back and, and tell him there's some new cheese out here. Ha raced back to Cheese Station C, following the route he had marked. He found his friend still hamming and hawing. Hem had not even put on his running shoes. Oh, Hem, uh, you look hungry. Uh, here, have a few bits of new cheese. I don't think I would like new cheese. I want my own cheese back. I'm sure if I wait here long enough, things will be the way they were. Will Hem ever change? Hem was left behind, hemmed in by fear, comfort, and denial. I guess Hem believes he can't, or, or won't, enjoy new cheese. He seems to believe that if he ventures into the maze, things will get worse. I see now that if I do things differently, things will get better. When you change what you believe, you change what you do. Ha found bits of cheese here and there and began to regain his strength. He had hoped that Hem might find his way by reading the handwriting on the wall. Paul had let go of the past and was adapting to the present. He was pursuing new cheese. And then it happened. Piled high everywhere was the greatest supply of cheese he had ever seen. Wow! New cheese! Is it real or just my imagination? It is real! Pa realized that Sniff and Scurry had been enjoying new cheese for quite a while. He vowed that next time, he would change faster. Pa knew it would be easy for him to slip back to his old ways if he got too comfortable. So each day, he inspected Cheese Station N to check the condition of his cheese. He went out into the maze and explored new areas. He knew it was safer to be aware of his real choices than to isolate himself in his comfort zone. Then one day, Ha heard what he thought was the sound of movement out in the maze. Could it be Ham? Was Ham about to turn the corner? Ha hoped that maybe, at last, his friend was finally able to... Move to the new cheese and enjoy it! Can you read the handwriting on the wall? 
Change happens. They keep moving the cheese. Anticipate change. Smell the cheese often so you know when it's getting old. Adapt to change quickly. The quicker you let go of old cheese, the sooner you can enjoy new cheese. Enjoy change. Savor the adventure and enjoy the taste of new cheese. Be ready to change quickly and enjoy it again. They keep moving the cheese.